for a second year, you know, you're trying to uh, reduce this uh, alcohol tax that was put in place in 2011. Um, as you know, the fiscal note shows that it'll mean $600 million less in revenue in the state coffers over the next four years. Why is it important to repeal this tax? Well, first of all, I think you have the, the law of diminishing returns. I mean, you know, when the governor lowered, and I was going to mention this, but when the governor lowered the tolls on the Fort McHenry and the harbor and the Bay Bridge, everybody said it was going to have this incredible loss. Uh, and in fact, now they've come back and the loss is in half or even two thirds what they thought it was because more people started using the bridge. Uh, I think that people sit down at, at a restaurant and they look at how much a glass of wine is and they're like, you know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm not paying $13 for a glass of wine when, when my entree is $19 or $22. So I don't think it's going to be that much. I think you're going to probably hit the law of diminishing return a little bit. Uh, and, and the other thing is this. The sales tax in the state of Maryland is, is 6%. So why, on a, why are we picking on alcohol at 9%? Uh, it, I think it should be comparable with everything else. And when I was here, that was a deal they made so they could balance the budget. And I don't think you make a deal based on one industry. Uh, consumption is off in Maryland, and it's level, if not 3% higher across the country. Yeah, so I heard the sexually transmitted disease thing a couple years ago when, when they passed the bill. that They said it would lower sexually, the incidence of sexually transmitted by diseases. By keeping the tax high. Yeah, by keeping the tax I've never seen any study that showed that that's the case. Uh, I don't know where they got that from, and I don't think I'm going to comment any further on that.